Baby, baby. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 A to Z. I really need a cool intro. Like, someone make me a cool intro where it's like explosion A to Z. Hoi 4. No? I'll give you a mouse pad. Or you could just get your own mouse pad or call History Boy Huddy. Link in the description down below. Support channel. Oh, if you know your alphabet, you've been following the series, you know exactly where we're going next, baby. That's right, we're going straight to therapy after this video. <laughs> so as usual, I have found a cool mod that um gives Argentina some flavor. Oh, no. Oh, I did it, guys. I looked at South America. It's been 120 videos, but here we are. The Devil's Land. I mean, it's not that bad, actually. I mean, we haven't played Ecuador yet. That's going to be a fun video. But first nation in South America is Argentina. Going to be a fun one. Land of the beef, right? They got a lot of beef in Argentina, led by Captain Argentina. It's like Captain America, but with more mustache. More of a dictator type feel. Also famous for a small little conflict down here that, uh... Well, historically didn't go too well for them. Maybe we could change the tide on that one today! Oh, that's interesting. I clicked off Argentina for a second. Now when I click back on it, there's a big fat man in charge. <laughs> Who are you? Did did you eat the last guy in charge? How, <laughs> where did you come from? Oh, remove USA guarantees. Well, that's probably going to make the game a lot more fun than, you know, going to war with America on day one. Thank you, Mom! That's right, shoot the Mom Road Doctrine right between those polio ridden balls. Yeah, I do appreciate when they give us a nice big focus tree. I don't appreciate it when it's so damn sideways, though. Why are you not utilizing the rest of the damn focus tree side? Why, why do I have to scroll so much? You know what? I, sh I, should be, I shouldn't be saying anything like that. It's Argentina. I'm just glad there's a focus tree. <laughs> there it is. A little spicy. Oof! A little bit of, oof, oh, my Kelly, ain't it? You may be laughing now at my very small, insignificant industry, but just you wait. I'll be the, the Wakanda of South America with a magnificent giant fleet to blow the British Navy up when I invade the Malvinas. Although saying that, it might take me a couple of hot minutes before we get that giant fleet out in the, into the ocean. Um, but we do actually start with a navy, which is pretty damn useful. It's not the most up-to-date one, but it will hopefully shoot something out the damn sea. Oh, it's one of those mods where you gotta actually do paths for events. Okay, well, uh, you, my friend, might be sick, but you're going to work! I don't care! <laughs> that little spider's gonna top that. <laughs> Okay, note to self, uh, don't send sick men to work. Apparently they die. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing sounds more patriotic than frauding the election. <laughs> yeah! Oh, so you get these events for trade deals. The only one who accepted was the Soviet Union out of all the nations, which is a bit weird. Don't, I don't plan on going communist, so that doesn't go too well in South America. Uh, what does go pretty well in South America, though, Bit of fashion! Uh, hopefully we can get the uh, the right dictator in control. Uh, it's hard to really say who's the right dictator in South America because there's just uh, got that many of them. Right, we got the right dictator in control, the one that allows us to justify war goals, which is the only reason I went down that path, and I'm realizing that down this mod gives you a lot of PP. I'm PP rich! And I'm spending it on every single general that gives me division attrition or supply consumption loss because South America's a hell of a uh, mind me, just breaking international treaties because I want to invade my neighbors. Just hashtag normal hoi four player stuff. Right, we broke the treaty, got rid of that, and as soon as we did, the Germans want to be our friend. Sorry, Mr. Smithler, bit too early for you to be hiding in Argentina. Uh, that's pretty interesting. After doing the first focus, we can actually do any of these in any order we want. Um... I mean, the focus might be really sideways, but uh, I I kind of like this idea. Don't worry, America. I got this one covered for you. Oh, I thought that would merely put us into war, but uh, apparently I just demand the land. And uh, I kind of wanted the whole country, but I guess a bit of it's fine. Uh, it's a little bit annoying. They just actually handed it over, the mad lad. I was kind of expecting to wipe out communism in the continent right then and there, but I guess not. That's right. I stealed the steal. <laughs> That's good, the British just accept our trade deal, thank you very much Britain, we'll be doing more trading later. In the meantime though, uh, I am about to um, <clears throat> do a bit of 
<gasps> That's right. Argentina's everyone's friend. We got the British, we got the Soviets, and now we got the Japanese. Just everyone turning up at our ports for a slice of whatever the hell we're selling. Might get a little bit complicated when they all go to war with each other, though. A little bit complicated. I see load of green. Me get happy. Me like green! And yeah, unsurprisingly, this mod's very overpowered. Who'd have thunk it? I'm going to be real with you, Bulgaria. I don't see how this helps anyone. <laughs> right, got our war goal with Uruguay, who are guaranteed by Chile, which is good, because I also justified on them, and hopefully we can get some damn land. But the question is, can the small, insignificant power of Argentina, definitely not bolstered by a very overpowered mod, probably made by a little Argentinian boy, uh, withstand the powerhouse of Chile and Uruguay? Uh, you know, yeah, um, I, I get the feeling we probably can beat Chile and Uruguay combined. Pr pretty easy, actually. I just sort this chili in half. <laughs> That's what you get for having a stupid shape, Nate. And that should be them dealt with easy peasy lemon squeezy. Our first bit of proper expansion done. Now you might say this is a little bit over overkill for Uruguay, and uh, yeah, I completely agree. This is completely overkill. I'm bombing them. I've got my my naval boats blowing the hell out of their capital city. And uh, I'm, I'm probably absolutely slaughtering everyone that lives here. But you know what? That's the Argentinian way. Uh, also, you know, it's probably good good idea to get some naval invasion experience, if you know what I mean. Oh, I am not looking forward to going further inland into South America, though. This is what I like to call hell. Uh, it looks like they got too many troops, though. So hopefully we can just overrun them quickly before we get stuck in a damn mountain. That's not too bad. But I also haven't stepped foot in Peru or the Amazon yet. So that's going to be fun. Pain. Suffering. Weird bow ties. These are all the damn feelings I feel while invading South America. Uh, it's actually not going too bad down here, but that's because we've got some ridiculous buffs on our army through our focus tree. Not even going to bother pushing through the Amazon, because um, if you haven't ever looked at the infrastructure map mode down here in South America, <gasps> it's awfully red! But we're just going to politely decline our party in the Amazon invite. I will not come to BR! I'm just kidding. I've come to BR, and I'm absolutely dominating it. It's the best place I've ever been, simply for the fact it's an oh you can eat buffet! Right, I was kind of worried about Brazil, but not as worried as I am for Peru, Colombia, and Venezuela. I ain't going anywhere near them until we've absolutely burnt the Amazon down and replaced it with a highway. In the meantime, I'll just slap Paraguay around. I get the feeling this might be a tough invasion. I might have a pretty overpowered army, a absolutely booming industry from all of the focuses in the damn mod, but Paraguay has actually had a lot of time to actually prepare their defenses now. You can see already that my army is suffering to make any progress whatsoever into actual mainland Paraguay. So I think this might be one for the history books. Uh, for the re <laughs> All right, problem with Peru is they're horrible to invade because they've got a massive army. They're fascist, so they can join the Axis, and um, I'm really hoping they don't do that. If you could uh, not ruin my game because you're, you're going wild over here. What the hell, Bulgaria? So what I like to do is just ram my army into Peru so they can't really withdraw backwards and then naval invade around them because usually whilst they do have a big army, they don't have enough to actually guard everything. So you rush in from the back, get the work done, smash it with a surprise hit and boom, nine months later, you got a baby. Well, I tell you, all right, that's how you make baby. Colombia, should I? Be worried. I feel slightly worried. South America is so far away in the corner of the map that I keep forgetting to look at Europe, which is probably for the best. The mighty Argentine army has no problem smashing through Colombia at this point because, well, essentially we're cheating with our focus tree, but that's the fun. And then we get that delicious Venezuelan oil. Don't mind if I do. Look at that. Argentina across the continent. Shame we can't get rid of that European stain at the top, but uh, we're working with what we got. All right, I don't want to alarm anyone, but um, I don't think we are the best naval men um, because we are training our navy in the middle of a mountain right now. Every damn time I look back over here, it just gets worse. Well, that's awfully topical. Oh god, I did, I did not even look at this. Okay, okay, well the Germany's making a comeback now. Alright, when you run out of places to conquer, you always gotta find new places. Like Portugal. That's right, the year 1946, when Argentina reverse colonialismed. First the Portuguese, and then the Spanish! Uh, I was also merely gonna go straight into Spain, but they joined Japan's faction which is just dandy, so I guess we're gonna have to deal with that too. Although, uh, 
yeah, this ain't gonna be f the great, great island hopping adventure begins as Argentina liberates New Zealand. Although sitting around building the Argentine fleet this entire time has um, it's coming handy because I keep blowing the Japanese fleet out of the damn water. Also, um, this is literally like three years between clips at this point. That's how fun this is. I only just looked at the damn casualties. Dear Lord. Oh my God. How was that war the Soviets benefiting anyone? Oh, that small detour in Spain ended up taking like 12 hours of my life. So player-led peace conferences is definitely on. There we go. The great Argentine empire. We got Japan and we got China. I don't think we'll keep New Zealand and stuff like that, unfortunately. We'll go back to them, but hey, China. Now there's only one thing left on the agenda. A little problem that we've been sitting back on because we had to, uh, you know, save the world from Japan. Now I think it's time we get a bit of repayment. Oh, uh, England requests time to consider. Do you think I have time? I've been playing this game for hours now. <laughs> Look at the day. Uh, playing this far into the future, though, has made me, you know, a, a bit of a fleet. You know, just a, just a bit of a fleet. <laughs> Oh, England refused. After all that, after saving the world from Japan, you know, getting rid of Spain, you know, you just reject, you know, you just, you know, don't give me, give me the damn islands, England, just, uh, give me the islands!